So hello guys, welcome to the Runtime Error, the place where programming begins. Today, in this video, we are going to see how to prepare for TCS Digital Interview. I have already given my TCS Digital Interview back in 2022. So I'm going to share my all the experience which you should come to know what we need to prepare and what not. And most interesting point is, which are the areas we need to focus on. So I highly recommend you to watch this video till end so that you can come across a detailed way to before appearing to TCS digital interview. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I am Pramod Bhosle, working as a system engineer at TCS since last one and a half years. So I have all the experience that what we need to prepare and what not. Just in case if you haven't followed me on LinkedIn, do follow me for the daily updates. So now let's start the video. So in this video, we are going, going to focus mainly on what are the areas that we need to focus on before appearing to TCS digital interview. There are basically four areas in which we need to focus while preparing for TCS digital interview. So we are going to discuss those four areas in more detail manner. Second, we are going to see which, which are the most do subjects for the interview. And most important point, I'm going to tell you that which are the topics from those subjects that we need to prepare thoroughly. And then we are going to see what are the situation based questions. During my interview in TCS Digital, they asked me one situation based question. So I'm going to share that question with you so that you can come across a certain idea about situation based questions. So now I hope so you got the clear idea about what we are going to see in this video. So now let's see one by one what we need to do and what not. So the first one is digital interview mainly focuses on, but hold on. I have already shared my TCS digital interview experience. Just in case if you haven't watched this video, I highly recommend you to watch this video so that you can come across my experience or what are the questions they were asked to me. So now let's get started. The first thing that TCS digital mainly focuses on is project because telling your project is a really important thing since you are upgrading your profile from Ninja to TCS digital. Then they focuses on coding. Coding plays a crucial role because during my time, when I gave my TCS Ninja test, there was one coding advanced round, which is of one hour before appearing to the TCS digital interview. Now for you, there might be a certain change in the pattern, but I'm telling you about my experience. And the last one is database and SQL. This is really important. I can guarantee you that in TCS digital interview, there will be at least two questions either on database or on SQL. So don't forget to do this subject. And the last one is, as I mentioned that situation based questions. There's I'm, I have shared one situation based question in this video. So stay till the end so that you can come across what are the subtopics that we need to prepare when you are dealing with these four areas. So let's first start with the project that what we need to tell in the project and what not. So the first one is problem statement. So while telling your problem statement, do tell them why you selected these problem statements. Why, what you are going to solve with this problem statement. What is the problem you are facing that you are going to give a solution for it. So give them a detailed manner why you chose this subject for the project. And then tell which technology you are going to use in order to solve the problem. Most important point to note here is that when you are telling the technology, also study about that technology. Because there might be a possibility that when you are describing your projects and then you describe your technology, instead of asking questions on your project, they might ask you the question on the technology you used. So be thorough with technology you are using. And the last one is really important that is your role. Because when you try to forget your role in your project, you will might end up facing interview questions on project on whole project. Right. They will not ask question to the specific role. They will ask the question on whole project. So during that time, it's get difficult to manage your interview at the end, at the end, tell your role. Don't tell your role before the telling the problem statement and technology, tell your role at the end so that they can come across those particular role on which you need to ask the question. So this was about the project that we need to describe and most interesting point that is Whatever the order I have told you, go in the same order so that you will face a good enough and the proper questions, right? If you reverse this order, what will happen? Say, for example, I have told my role before problem statement. They will forget what was your role because you're telling the answer again and again, 
right so your role should be at end so that they can come across your role is this so i need to ask question based on this particular role so i hope so you come across how to tell your projects in interview now coding and dsa now this is really important because without coding and dsa digital interview is not possible because you are upgrading your profile i have already mentioned it you are getting the higher package so the first thing is on screen code now when you are giving the thesis digital interview they might ask you to share your screen they will give you one problem statement and they will ask you to code but don't worry there will not be any hard level questions there will be either easy one or the medium one they will never ask any hard question i can guarantee you that if you are good enough with the basics of dsa you will able to solve this question within 10 minutes so such easy questions they will ask in on screen coding interview then advanced coding round so i kept this point because during my time i gave one advanced coding round before appearing to the thesis digital interview so in your case there might be a certain change in the pattern so depending upon your pattern you can uh, check whether you have a advanced coding round or not so during my advanced coding round there were two mathematical questions for which i have given one hour to solve before appearing to the interview if you are able to solve that those two questions then i got selected for the tcs digital interview and now which are the topics we need to focus the first one is standard algorithms now which are those standard algorithms we will discuss a bit later on then they will ask about the linear data structures so these are the four things that you need to focus before preparing for coding or the dsa now for the standard algorithms dealing with the first thing that comes in is, is sorting algorithms So do make sure you know all the sorting algorithms the bubble sort quick sort selection sort merge sort quick sort so all these sorting algorithms you should be good enough with it along with its time complexity then searching algorithms we know that basically there are two searching algorithms linear and binary search so do prepare it really well then a linear data structures like linked list stacks queue and if you are dealing with a non linear data structures don't think from coding point of view study only their conceptual things like what is tree what is graph what is node what is height etc and the most most important point while dealing with the data structure is applications of every single data structure there will be 100% question if you are dealing with data structure questions that interviewer might ask you tell me the applications of stack tell me the application of linked list so this is a really important point that is you should know the application of each and every single data structure so this was all about the data structure now let's move on to the database section uh, if you ask about me my 47 minutes of interview went on database they will thoroughly about the database so i i thought that for thesis digital interview database plays a crucial role as compared to dsa database plays a crucial role what i thought as per my interview experience so in this we need to prepare normalization so they will ask questions on what is 1nf 2nf bcnf what is the difference in between those two they will ask about the acid properties which is really important there are four acid properties make sure you are good enough with it then they will ask about notations of er diagram because they ask me four notations of composite attributes so they were asking the what is the notation for it and the different types of database which are the different types of database what is the difference between database and database management system so these were the questions mainly asked to me and now which is really important that is sql because without sql and in sql that is without joins you will never have a tcs digital interview so in joins we need to focus mainly on cross joins natural joins and inner joins this is really important because for me they ask what is the difference between cross join and natural join so uh, do prepare this questions really well because in any interview not only in tcs digital but in any interview whenever you say the sql joins will always come into the picture so don't forget to prepare this topic so i hope so you got about the database and the sql as well now last point that i want to discuss is situation based question because during my time when i'm ending with my interview i got one situation based question so i have here brought that question which was asked to me so they asked me if you are a leader of a team and suppose you are completing one project and in order to complete that project it takes 6 months but the client need to complete that project in 4 months what will you do 
so such type of situation questions they might ask you so now each and every single person has their own opinion and answer but make sure you don't give any trivial answers like i will ask my employees to do overtime i will pay them more and ask them to work extra hours no don't give such answers make sure your answers have some certain meanings and certain standard way before telling your situation based questions because when they are dealing with the situation based questions they are checking your quality in that scenario now in this question they are checking in the quality whether you are having as a leadership or not so based on it tell your answer don't just tell any hopeless trivial answers make sure you are to the point you have the standard points and the certain answers so now after all this i can say that you are 100% ready for tcs digital interview there is no any other subject or no any other way that you need to prepare before appearing to tcs digital so just in case if you have got to know many more things from this video do subscribe the channel so that you can come across everything regarding placements coding and many more things till then have a happy coding